Hello, I'm David Ewing Duncan, and I'm here at the 2016 Bio Investor Forum. And I'm here to talk to Colleen Cutliff, who is the CEO of Whole Biome. Now, Colleen, welcome. Thank you. And I'd love to talk to you just for a minute about having a, a brand new, you don't really call it a technology, but a kind of new field of the microbiome. It's been around forever, but we're now just recognizing it. How that fits in with an investment strategy for you as a company and maybe looking outward to the space as an investor space? So it's always exciting to be a part of a new uh, sort of segment of science and to feel like you're developing new tools and, and new potential interventions and diagnostics and diseases. Um, so I think the investment community sort of views it in the same way. Um, there's a lot of opportunity and potential there. A lot of science and medicine is behind the field, but it's very new, and so there's all the risk that comes with that as well. And so I would say that um, you deal with a potential huge upside, uh, and you can sell a story that is, you know, um, as big as your imagination can be, but then there's also the big risk that nothing has really come forward yet um, in the space, and that's all anticipated to happen over the next couple of years all of these first investments. So do you see the investments uh, on the rise? I mean, obviously this is a huge space we're just beginning to explore, but as an investor, should I jump in now? Should I wait a little while? Where do you think we are on that we spectrum? We really invest in companies that already exist, like Whole Biome. Okay. <laughs> well, but? <laughs> I think that there's a handful of companies which have been around for a few years, and money is going into those companies um, to get them to you know the next big milestones. And of course, efficacy in humans is where everybody is, is hoping to sort of see the field really play out and come to fruition. I think there are a lot of startup companies with novel ideas that are going to be supportive for helping um, th these companies develop interventions, so tools, informatics, of course, is a big part of the microbiome, um, and I think all of those are worth thinking about. All of the large pharmaceutical companies have an eye on the microbiome space. A couple of them have gone out to really make their own personal investments, um, probably J&J &J at the forefront of that, yes, the yeah. Institute. Right. Um, so it seems that this field is here for now, um, but of course science and medicine is fickle and I think, you know, one of the problems with the microbiome um, is that if there is an adverse event or if things go poorly and expectations uh, don't match reality of, of real development, um, things can dry up quickly. We've seen that happen historically in other spaces and I think the microbiome is not immune to that. Yeah, unfortunately that is sort of a cycle in this, but maybe a necessary one. Anyway, thank you very much. Yep, thank you.